Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can share a quiz with another teacher on Edmodo. Let's say you want to share a quiz with your parallel teacher or set of quizzes. In order to do so, I created another teacher account. I named it Parallel Teacher. And here I have my account. So let's say I want to share with this account, which is another teacher, my parallel teacher, two quizzes. Now, first of all, you have to know that all the quizzes that you create on Edmodo, you are going to see them in the library in a folder called My Quizzes. The same thing for the assignments called My Assignments. So in this folder, all the quizzes that, that I have created on Edmodo are going to be here automatically. Now, if you go to the options here, you cannot share any of these quizzes with a teacher or a group. So what you can do instead, I will show you step by step how you can share. Let, let's say, for example, I want to share these two quizzes, grade 9 drop quiz 1 biology and grade 9 mid, midterm exam biology. So I'm, I want to share these two exams uh, with the parallel teacher here. As I said, there is no way that I can share it here or send it. The best way to do it is to create a folder and share the folder with that teacher. How is that? If you go to the folders that you create in the library, you can share the folders but with a group, not a teacher. So what I'm going to do is, I will go back to the home page and I'm going to create a new group and I will call this group grade 9, for example, Parallel Teachers Biology. Okay, I select the options I need for this group. I will keep it private and create. Okay. So after creating the quiz, as you know, you will be having a code so that you can share this code with your parallel teachers. So I'm going to copy this code or send it to my parallel teacher. The parallel teacher is going to join using the code. Join group using the code. So as can you see here, grade 9 parallel teachers biology, I'm the owner of the group and this is the parallel teacher, he is a member in the group. You can even uh, share this uh, group with more than one teacher. So let's go back here to my account. Yes, this is my account. I go to the members, refresh. Yeah, this is the teacher here. And even you can make the teacher co-teacher. Okay. So step number one, what I have done is I created a group. I created a group with my parallel teachers, grade nine parallel teachers biology. Now, second, uh, second step is I'll do the following. I need to create a folder. I create a new folder. I will name this folder grade nine quizzes okay this is in my library this is the folder so the third step is I will go to my quizzes folder and I'm going to select the quizzes that I need to share and I will write move I will move them to that folder that I have created now grade 9 uh, where is it? Grade 9 quizzes. Done. Then I will share the other. I will move the other quiz that I need to share. Grade 9 quizzes. Done. So. I will go back to my library. So, so far what I did is. I created a folder. Let me search for the folder. Grade 9. I created a folder. 
I name it grade 9 quizzes. In this folder, I put all the quizzes that already I created before that I need to share with other teachers. Now, the last step is I simply go to this folder. I will go to this folder and I will click share. And I'm going to share it with grade 9 parallel teachers biology. Done. Now, what is going to happen is I will go back to the to my parallel teacher account. This is my parallel teacher account here. Okay? So simply the parallel teacher they are going to go to their group which is grade 9 parallel teachers they will go to the folders and look here they are going to find a folder called grade 9 quizzes so imagine this group is shared by four teachers all the four teachers are going to find the same folder so that teacher will go will find the two quizzes simply what they can do is assign they can assign it to any of their classes Let's say they have math class or demo class, let's say, and add to grade book, assign, that's it. So by doing that, you can share all the quizzes you need with your parallel teachers. Now, let's say the parallel teacher wants to change or edit the quiz. And the way we did it, the parallel teacher won't be able to uh, edit the quiz they can only assign it they can only as we said assign a quiz okay now in order to be able to edit a quiz what they can do is the following um, they go back to the folder and simply they add to the library so by adding it to the library now i'm having this folder in my library so the parallel teacher okay uh, is having now the folder that i sent here which is created by me to their library his or her library by doing that the parallel teachers are able to access the quizzes from their own library and they will be able to edit the quiz let's say they need to change the the title they need to um, change the duration that meets the need of the uh, students. And now what's good about it is, let's say that I, wa I want to add one more request to the folder. I don't have to repeat all the steps. All what I have to do is, again, I go back to my library. I need to add this quiz, for example, uh, quiz one cells or this one grade 9 bg tegumentary system i go here i click move then i'm going to select grade 9 quizzes and i click done now look what is going to happen now i added one more quiz to my folder here in the library so if i go back to the parallel teacher to the group to the folder and i open the quizzes and here is the quiz again so it's only one step or one time you do it again you create a folder you call it quizzes you share this folder with a group and this group is going to be shared by, by your parallel teachers then whatever you put in this uh, folder whether it's an assignment or a quiz or any resource it's going to appear for all the teachers that are in the group if it is a quiz simply they can assign it by only one step